Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video of my in-person autographs that I've gotten over the years. Uh, I have a pretty big collection and I'm interested in the videos that I've seen on YouTube, so I figured I'd make one for myself. Uh, this is going to be a uh, two-part video. Uh, this was just going to be baseball. I also have a, uh, a pretty big hockey collection as well. So I'll just start off with uh, my collection here. These are the secondary uh, baseballs. The better ones are downstairs, and I'll make a second part for that after this. So we'll start over here uh, on the top. This is George Springer, who I got. He came to my town to do a clinic, and I was able to get him. Pretty nice guy, and that's actually a pretty good autograph from uh, Springer. His autograph is pretty illegible. Uh, Tory Hunter, Jeff Bagwell, I got that one a long time ago at Shea Stadium. Uh, Brandon Webb, when he was good, that was actually one of my favorite ones to get, he signed it really nice. Uh, that was a few years ago also at Shea Stadium when it was still around. Uh, Carlos Santana, the Cleveland Indians, signed that one in New Britain, minor leagues. Uh, one of two Dylan Bundys, got that one when he was in the minors, this one's going to be hard to see. Uh, that's Vladimir Guerrero. I got him actually in Montreal. He was doing a signing because it was his bobblehead day. So I was really excited to get that one. It's actually, he, he signed it in black. Wouldn't sign it in blue. So unfortunately it's turning a little bit yellow. Hopefully it'll stick around a little longer though. Still signed it nice. It's a pretty good looking autograph. Uh, it's Nick Castellanos. Tigers number one prospect. Casey Kelly. Hopefully he'll, uh, Pan out as good as he can be. Uh, Will Middlebrooks got that one in Pawtucket from this past year. Gary Sanchez in New Britain. Carlos Lee got that one a few years ago and he was with the Brewers. He was a stud back then. Uh, Clay Buckholtz signed on the side panel. That was in Pawtucket. Uh, Christian Yelich, that's from this year at City Field. Was really happy to get him. Uh, went to the Futures game and got snubbed by. Uh, bunch of guys only end up getting one at the Futures game. Uh, Xander Bogarts got him in New Britain. Wooden sweet spot but still looks pretty nice. Good to get him. Uh, Archie Bradley was the one guy that I got at the Futures game. Really happy that I was able to get him. Travis Darno got him at City Field this year outside. Mark Trumbo last year at Fenway Park. Wooden sweet spot. Uh, Tommy Hansen Got him at uh, Tropicana Field, actually my trip to uh, Tampa Bay to see the Braves and the Rays. One of two autographs from Matt Harvey. Got him outside City Field earlier this year. The other one's downstairs. I'll show that one in the next video. Jameson Tyon. Got him in New Britain this year. Was happy to finally get him. Drew Storen. Got him a few years ago when he was in the um, minors with the Harrisburg Senators. This one, uh, you can't even see it. This is Jay Bruce. I'm not even going to bother moving it. He uh, he signed it, but he signed it in a really bad place. Didn't sign it. Side panel or sweet spot, kind of in the middle. And uh, he was kind of a douche about that. I wasn't really happy he did that. Kind of wasted my Major League ball. So just be forewarned, if you go for Jay Bruce and you want a ball, he's going to sign it like that. So you're better off getting a card or a picture. Moving along here, let's see, Adam Dunn, I got him in Baltimore, I was really happy to get him finally after a long time. Tim McClelland, the umpire from the Pine Tar game, you can see the part of the inscription there on top, he put Pine Tar game, he'll do that for you if you're able to catch him, pretty nice guy. Kerry Wood, got that one a long time ago at Shea Stadium when he was still relevant. Phil Hughes in the minor leagues, no sweet spot, but got him when he was the number one prospect. Two of two from Dylan Bundy. Got him in the minors, as I mentioned before. Uh, really happy I got this one this year. That's Francisco Lindor with a really beautiful autograph when he came to uh, New Britain earlier this year. This is a dual signed ball. Uh, Brian McCann, one of my better days at Shea Stadium, got him and Jeff Rancourt when he was still good right there. Probably should have just stuck with Brian McCann in the sweet spot, but it's all right. Uh, Jeff Kent, who was really hard to get, glad I finally got him, but that was a few years ago, that was also in Montreal, 
when Olympic Stadium was still around. Manny Machado got him in New Britain a couple years ago. Miguel Sano got him in New Britain. Uh, he wouldn't sweet spot, but he, that's his full autograph. A lot of the autographs he's giving now are not as uh, detailed as that, but he took his time and signed a really nice autograph for him under the MLB logo. It looks really good. Jake Peavy, when he was relevant with the Padres, uh, didn't ask him the sweet spot, probably should have, but he signed it there. Jose Tabata, when he was in a one prospect with the Yankees, so it looks pretty nice. Anthony Rendon, got him, went on a trip to uh, Harrisburg. Carl Crawford, when he was relevant with the Rays. Uh, this is uh, Peter Gammons with the Hall of Fame 05 inscription, got him before a playoff game at uh, Fenway a few years ago. Uh, Jacoby Ellsbury got him uh, when he was with Portland a few years ago, and that's about as good as you're going to get in person from him. That was his old autograph. I know it's changed quite a bit now. Kyle Gibson, the Twins' number one pitching prospect. Uh, big autograph, nice crisp signature with a 2009 first-round pick inscription. Really nice guy, or he was then anyway. I'm not, I haven't dealt with him lately. James Shields from one of my better days at Fenway. Got him. Let's see and get underneath here. This is Josh Beckett back when he was relevant. I actually got him uh, at a signing because you cannot get him in person like this. There's absolutely no way. He's he's one of the biggest douches in baseball. So the signing or nothing. Rick Porcello. Jesse Biddle, the Phillies' number one prospect, got him. In New Britain at the All-Star Game this past year, Double A All-Star Game. Dellen Batansis when he was a relevant prospect. Nick Markakis, who probably would have sweet spotted if I asked, but I didn't. Miguel Tejada from a long time ago when he was still good. Let's move it down here. Let's see if we can see the bottom. Gary Brown, former Giants number one prospect, no longer. A big time prospect, but maybe he'll pan out. Give me a nice signature. Lonnie Chisholm Hall gave me a crappy signature when he was in New Britain with Akron. Travis Snyder, who's really fallen off the map. Hopefully he'll uh, be able to come back, have a bit of a career. Manny Benuelos. We'll see if he comes back from his uh, Tommy John surgery and give me as good as the Yankees thought. Nomar Garcia Parra. Got him when uh, he was with the Cubs. Had to personalize it. But uh, it's alright. It looks pretty good. Put my name. Best wishes, Nomar. It's fire with me. Big Red Sox fan, so it looks pretty nice. It's unique. Let's see. It's getting dark here. I'm sorry, everybody. I have my stuff in a dark area. Roy Oswalt got him a long time ago. No sweet spot. Tony Sanchez, the former Pirates, number one prospect. No longer. Still has time though. And let's see the freaking dark. Jacob Turner. When he was the Tigers' number one prospect. And a couple in front here. Don Mattingly. I was able to get him. Looks pretty nice. Got a nice little case here. Uh, this one I did not get in person. This is Alfonso Soriano. Someone actually gave this to me, a girl, friend. Um, received it in a card pack back when Soriano was still in AAA. And uh, nice crisp signature. It stayed nice. It's on an official AAA ball. And it's a pretty nice looking Soriano signature. He's a tough one to get. So, looks nice. And then finally, uh, David Ortiz. I got this one at a signing. It was right after the 2004 World Series got him. It's actually on a World Series ball. Where's the logo? There it is. Or no, that's not it. Right there. Should have had him sign it there, but he kind of just grabbed it and signed the sweet spot. It still looks gorgeous. It's about as good as you're going to get from David Ortiz. So that's pretty much the secondary stuff. I know this Ortiz should be in my, my good case downstairs, but I had bought this uh, stand here for it, and I really don't have a place downstairs to put it. So that does it for uh, this section of my autograph collection. And we'll go downstairs and we'll make a part two and show you the better stuff. All right. Peace.